Okay. I'm doing something a little strange today. What I'm doing is I, I went out to my shed. It is really nasty. It is really nasty outside. Okay. Uh, it's super windy, super cold. It's even been raining and snowing a little bit. Anyway, not complaining. I wanted to get out of the house and do something. So what I'm doing, I'm going to change things up a little bit. I'm going to use a telescoping pole to raise my antenna up. And that way I don't have to worry about a tree anymore. I just need to find a way. The problem with the pole is once you get it up, it wants to fall and you got to wrap it around something. So, you know, going up into a tree is easy once you're up there, but it's hard to get it up. But a pole has the problem of you have to stand it up. So I'm in my shed here. I've got a lantern and I've got my heater because it's freaking cold outside. <laughs> I'll show you in a second. It's super windy too. But what I'm doing though is what I call a proof of concept. I want to try and make sure I'm, I'm pretending like I'm out in the field. I want to get all my equipment working, which I'm going to show you in a second and just prove that it works. That way when I go out in the field, I don't forget something. So the main idea is that I have an entire radio station in a box like this, and this can go in my backpack. Let me show you what's in here. And I've got this. I bought this literally over 10 years ago. Haven't hardly used it. MFJ, I think it's 33 feet telescoping mast, notepad, KX2, KX2, pack antenna, just a long wire antenna, small battery, and my straight key. So hopefully everything is in here and I didn't forget anything except the cable. And I'm working on doing a random wire, but I, but I lost the connector here that would connect, connect me to that, the BNC cobra head that I need to connect to that. So let's just get this up and running and see if it works. Okay, so that pack antenna is 29 feet and it reaches just to the top. This is dang near perfect. Boy, I could not do this without that heater. Hoo wee. <sighs> Let's go. You know, some of you out there might be saying, oh yeah, we deal with cold all the time. Yeah, well, we deal with not only cold, but it also gets 100 degrees here too with super high humidity so we have to deal with hot and cold and mosquitoes as you know all right question is can i make a contact one good thing about screwing up if you're at home is that if you screw up you can go inside and get something that you forgot got a i don't hear anybody out there i've got a perfect swr in 7055 Now people online told me to hold it like this and I saw and to use your wrist. I'm not hearing any activity at all. It's kind of kind of worrying me that bands are bad. Well, there's somebody. So the wind blew over my telescoping tower out there so I just hooked it up to my G5 RV which was already out there
Ooh, I got it. I forgot to say 7-3 though. I'm not, I'm telling you though, this is not the most comfortable thing in the world. I'm trying to do this and I, I screwed up my plug for a minute. The plug, the, for whatever reason, you can't plug this all the way in. If you plug it all the way in, it goes ding. Somebody else is on there. I might call CQ again, try to get another one. So I got one contact down and like to make a couple more. Um, I would say that I'm pretty surprised at how easy that went. I went in and got some coffee. It's freaking so cold. My toes are what's cold. I went duck hunting with my stepdad when I was about nine and 10 years old. And I will tell you, I've never had colder feet and toes in my life. I've never felt icy toe pain in my life like I did when I went duck hunting. We would go out in, the, in this boat and I would have on these hip waders. I'd put on socks. I even got foot warmers at one point. No pain. Like I remember complaining so much that I made him make me a fire. He made me a fire and I put my toes near it. That's how miserable I was. Okay, so I skipped way ahead and I saved you and I cut out a whole lot of calling CQ, CQ, CQ. I think the bands are not that good. I made one good contact today and had, had a couple people hear me. I think I shouldn't be using five, six watts. I think I need to kick it on up. So the next video, I think I'm gonna come right back out here and I'm gonna use my Yezu 891 and I'm gonna kick it up to 90, 90 watts.